Hi, today I'd like to show you some lead crystal that I've got from secondhand stores, charity shops. Very cheap to acquire um, and very beautiful. Most of it hasn't been used before, so it's very clean and very cheap. Um, and you get a lot of people saying, you know, save the environment and then they go to Ikea and buy all their new stuff. And really there's so much that can be recycled by going to charity shops and to antique shops and buying second hand and reusing items rather than buying new again. So it's part of the environment to bring these things back into circulation and so they don't go into landfills. So this one is a cut vase. Most of these ones I've got are between, I would say five to 10 pounds I've got. Now, you can tell whether it's a cut glass or whether it's molded glass. First of all, molded glass tends to have some little, down the side somewhere, you'll get a line where the two parts of the mold fitted together. Otherwise, it is a much more blunter cut. If you put your finger Along here, you can see it's quite a sharp cut and quite fine cuts as well, which means that that's a cut glass rather than a molded glass where it's been put into a mold. And the sides are much more rounded, much more blunter, and the cut is much more shallow because they have to get them out in and out of the mould rather than a cut like this. So this one's a cut vase, as you can see. It, you can't see it so well in this one, but there's a huge amount of glitter that you can get from the, the light on this when you move it around. And this one is another little bowl. And it's got some nice cut designs. Again, you've got that beautiful cut on it. Thing is, trying to think of something to use them for, but I'll show you one I've used already, but they're just beautiful just to have in cabinets even. Now this one is a, an earlier one, it came from an antique centre and it's actually a, a salt, um, a glass salt. Often these are in silver salts with a blue lining inside, but this one, it's a, just a, a silver salt, um, glass salt. About 1800 to 1810, because in those days, You'd put the salt in the table because it's expensive in those days as well, and you just pinch a bit out and then put it onto your your dish. Now this is I got me out of sequence a little jug. Again, it's got some beautiful designs on it, and also you can tell it's it's a cut crystal or lead crystal because the weight is it's quite hefty stuff. We got these about three or four days ago from a charity shop. Again, you can see the beautiful design and it's got a little tray to put them in. Again, so we'll put those in there, you've got a little one in there, one in there, and there you have very beautiful doesn't come out so well on the camera as it does in real life because you can really see the, the light shimmering off these. And again, they're all from charity shops. We've got quite a good one here, um, which is to do with um,
an end of life hospice. And they do some really nice stuff in there. But there's lots and lots of ones we got from British um, Heart Foundation. There was another one, we, I think we got this one from the British Heart Foundation. Again, you can see some lovely markings on there. So it's worth having a look around your local, because at least nowadays there's about half or a third of all shops are now charity shops. So, you know, you can go around them and then you can go into the hundreds of coffee shops that are around afterwards when you're tired out shopping for crystal. But very nice again, beautifully designed. And you can put little sweeties in it or just put some potpourri or something like that. And they do bring a bit of class to your, your table. Beautiful. This is one which has got a bit of colour in it. A bit of red. Again, quite a nice design, quite a, nicely cut. Not sure why the birds are upside down in here. That's a bit odd, isn't it? I just thought the birds would be the right way around, but there you go. Because it wouldn't be that way around, because that's the, the foot. So. But why they did it that way, I don't know. Bohemia in, was now Slovakia, is it? Or Be more in Czechia, part of what was Czechoslovakia. It used to be very good for, um, especially red glass, cut red glass. So this might be Bohemian glass. They're very well known for that, especially in the Victorian period. Yeah, cut glass. Again, you can see it's quite nicely cut. And again, these were, you know, pretty cheap compared to what you'd buy in the shop. And so you'd save money even by getting these things. This one, again, nice design, very well cut with flowers, I think they are. Yeah, when you get the light on them, it refracts the light and you've got this pretty pretty light coming on, on them. And we've got this one, which is a little posy bowl or something like that. You could use it for, put some flowers in. Or again, you could put uh, sweeties in there. You could just use it as it is. We could put some flowers, sweeties, papori, anything like that, really. And again, it reflects the light, really adds to your table decoration. And I'll just show you another one that's Coloured glass. Red glass again. It's a nice little bowl. So these can be bought fairly cheaply. And then you should put them just in the washing machine or something like that and just get them up nice and clean and you're away. Now we'll get to our one that I bought the other day. It was about eight pounds, I think it was. And I've just used it to put my, my Turkish tea in. So again, see all the, the light reflecting off it. It does look a lot better. There. So you can just 
reuse them for different things. And they look really nice. And Scotland, very well there, their crystal. You've got Scotland, Ireland with the, these two crystal wine glasses we got from charity shop. Yeah, it's, um, you can see just at the base, I don't know if you can see it very well, but there is a little mark just at the bottom there that says Edinburgh Crystal. So you can look at the bases to see if you can find anything that's got a mark on it. Again, it's very nice to have a glass of wine from a beautiful thing like that. Again, I'll just show you the, the ping on it. Just a little. A beautiful note. So I've got those. I've got two of those. There you go. All right, I hope you like this and um, that you all start going out to charity shops and looking around for some crystal to decorate your table. Okay, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for all those who have subscribed. It does help get more people viewing these sort of things. So let's get recycling and re go into those secondhand stores and bringing in some beautiful glass. Thank you, bye.